to 85% of its generation capacity in the form of very expensive new coal plants. That's a very dangerous thing for customers, especially in a very dynamic economic environment that we're facing right now and we may face for years to come. So um, that's a very strong point that needs to be made, not just for Cleveland, but for every Amtrak community. And then finally, the report found that there, happily there is a, a more financially <coughs> secure way forward for AMP and its members. It is to cancel the coal plant, aggress, uh, invest aggressively in energy efficiency, invest aggressively in combined heat and power in Ohio, and then finally invest in low-cost renewable generation. Let me just expand on combined heat and power for a second. This is a set of techniques that utilizes waste heat from industrial processes. We have a lot of industrial processes in Ohio, paper mills, steel mills, um, electric sub, uh, trans transmission stations, natural gas transmission stations um, that just spew a lot of heat into the environment. And that heat can be captured in various ways uh, and reused beneficially, including power generation. There was a report last year that found that there was over 3,000 megawatts of unused combined heat and power generation in Ohio. That's three times the size of the amp plant. Um, that is not being used. And combined heat and power can be brought along uh, twice as fast and twice as cheaply uh, and with no associated carbon emissions uh, than a new coal plant. So that's what our report found. Uh, again, happy to supply uh, any of you with that because I think there's a lot of good information there. Besides all the stuff we always talk about with climate change and, and, and Mays County and asthma and all that stuff, um, if we wanted to speak to people's pocketbooks, we need to have some of these numbers in our hands. So talk to me afterwards and uh,